So a new rumor has emerged regarding Nvidia's upcoming GeForce RTX 3080 Ti graphics card from reputable leaker Copite 7 Kimmy. Now according to the information, the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti will remain the same specifications that were detailed last month but will get the same GPU hash rate limiting treatment as the GeForce RTX 3060 to counter crypto miners. Now the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti has been doing quite the rounds on the rumor mill for a good long time now. It has disappeared and reappeared several times with different GPU configurations, but as we get closer to April, things are getting more clear. The GeForce RTX 3080 Ti may indeed be launching and will retain the same core configuration as again the ones we've rumored before and will also come with that new feature first introduced on the GeForce RTX 3060. Now Nvidia has already stated that existing GPUs will not be affected by the hash rate limiting tech, but upcoming SKUs will definitely be receiving modifications to counter cryptocurrency miners. As such, the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti will also limit its hash rate in several cryptocurrency algorithms, making it pretty much useless, at least it seems, and a not, great, not so great investment for miners. Now the GeForce RTX 3080, for example, features an Ethereum mining hash rate of around 95 to 100 mega hash per second when using the Dagger Hashimoto algorithm. Now if we use the same 50% hash rate limit as the 3060 and apply it to the 3080 Ti, we see around 45 to 50 mega hash per second, which is the same mining rate as the RTX 3070 before you even tune it. However, that card will get around 60 if you tweak it, along with the 3060 Ti. This may mean that more cards can end up in gaming PCs rather than on mining platforms. However, we can't say if the availability of the card will be that great to begin with since the RTX 3080 and RTX 3090 based on the same GA102 GPU are still in relatively short supply. Now, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3080 Ti 12 GB Founders Edition card is expected to feature the PG133-SKU15 PCB design and the GA102-250-KD-A1 graphics core. Now that GA102-250 GPU has also changed since the last time we saw it and will now feature 10,240 CUDA cores with a total of 80 SM units. And since the main core configuration is entirely brand new, the previous leaked clocks and TMUs and ROPs and all of that should be dismissed. As for memory, the card will feature 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, but unlike the 19.5 gigabytes per second of the 30X 3090, the GeForce RTX 3080 is said to retain the same memory speeds as the RTX 3080 at 19 gigabits per second. Now, since we're getting 12 gigabytes of memory, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti will probably be using a 384-bit bus interface, which equals a total bandwidth of 912 gigabytes per second. So while we see an 8 gigabyte VRAM reduction over the previous spec, the larger interface should mean higher memory bandwidth. Now, the TGP of the card is set to be at the same as the RTX 3080, 320 watts. That's definitely needed to feed the extra cores, so NVIDIA might have to optimize the clocks a bit here. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.